Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. You can see I'm using macOS Sonoma on my Intel PC. And today in this video, I'm going to tell you how to install macOS Sonoma on any Intel PC. And you can see my hardware acceleration is working perfectly. The taskbar is transparent. So without getting much more delayed, let's get started. So to install macOS Sonoma on your PC, you will need these files. Explore plus plus, dual bit command, mental petition, macOS Sonoma image, and repose application. And finally, the EFI. If you don't know how to generate EFI for your system, there is a video on my channel, you can follow this. So first of all, you'll have to install Manitool Petition and extract the Explore++ file. Now you'll have to double tap on Repose Application, click on Yes. Now click on Select, navigate to Download Folder, and here from the drop down, click All Files. Now you'll find Sonoma, select it and click on open. Now you'll have to insert a 32 gigabytes of pen drive to your PC. Now click on start. But before starting, make sure that every data on your pen drive is backed up because in this process you'll lose every data on your pen drive. Click on start. Click on OK. Now the process has been started. You will have to wait 10 to 15 minutes to complete the process. Now it's completed. Click on close. Now open menu tool petition. Click on Yes. Launch application. Now select your pen drive. Again, select the EFI on your pen drive. Right click on the drive. Click on Change Later. Click on OK. Click on Apply. Click on Yes. Now it's done. Close it. Now go to Download folder again. Open the Explore Plus Plus folder. Select Explore Plus Plus EXE. Right click on it. Run as administrator. Click on yes. Now, navigate to the EFI folder. In my case, it is downloads. Right click on the CFI. Click on copy. Now go to this PC and you'll find EFI drive. Open it. Just right click on here. Paste it. Click on replace file destination. It's done. Close it. Go back. Close it. Now, right click on the start menu. Click on disk management. Now, here you'll have to create a drive with minimum 100 or 128 gigabytes of space. Right click on a bigger drive. Click on shrink volume. Now, after choosing your space, click on shrink. Now, an allocated space is created. Now, right click on it. Click on the new simple volume. Click on next, click on next, click on next. Put the drive name as macOS. Click on next, click on next and finish. Now it's done. Close it. Now, you'll have to restore your PC and access the BIOS menu. To access the BIOS menu, you can refer this photo. Otherwise, you can search in Google. Now in the BIOS menu, you'll have to change the following parameters. After changing the parameters, Go back, click on save and exit. Click on save changes and reboot. Click on yes. Now this time you'll have to access the boot menu. To access the boot menu, you can open this photo. Otherwise, you can search in Google. From the boot menu, you will have to select your pen drive and hit on the arrow key. Now here you will have to click on install macOS Sonoma and hit on the arrow key. Now select Disk Utility, click on Continue, click on the drop down, select Show All Devices. Now select the drive macOS, click on Erase on the top, click on the drop down, select APFS, click on Erase. Now it's done, click on Done, close it. Now select Install macOS Sonoma. Click on continue. Click on continue. Click on agree. Again, click on agree. Now select your macOS drive. Click on continue. Now you will have to wait 30 to 45 minutes to complete the installation. During the installation, your PC may restart several times. 
Every time your PC restarts, you will have to access the boot menu and boot your PC from the USB. Now again, access the boot menu and from the boot menu, select open drive, hit on the arrow key. Now this time, you will see Mac OS installer, select it and hit on the arrow key. Again, select Mac OS installer, hit on the arrow key. Now in this stage, you will have to wait. 30 to 45 minutes. Now again select open drive, hit on the enter key. Again select Mac OS installer and hit on the enter key. Again select pen drive, hit on the enter key. Now this time you will see Mac OS. Select Mac OS and hit on the enter key. Again, select the Mac OS, hit on the enter key. Now select your country, click on continue, click on continue, click on not now, select my computer doesn't connect to internet, click on continue, click on continue, click on continue, click on not now, click on agree, again click on agree. Now. Set up your macOS. Now click on continue. Check in the location. Click on continue. Uncheck this. Click on continue. Select setup layer. Select your theme. Click on continue. Click on quit. Now if I go to about this Mac, you can see I'm using macOS Sonoma with graphics acceleration. Now open install macOS Sonoma drive, select the files and drag and drop it to desktop. Now open the files. Now open open core configurator. Now on the top you will find tools, click on it. Click mount UFI. Here is the USB drive and here is the SSD. Mount partition of USB, click on mount partition. Put a Mac password. Click on OK. Now click on Open Petition. Put this here. Now click on Mount Petition again. Now click on Open Petition. This is the SSD Petition, Windows Petition. Now close another things. Open the UFI here. Select these two folders. Right click on them. Select Copy. Select the UFI here too. Right click on here. Pass to items. Click on replace. Again, replace. Now it is done. Close everything. Now restore your Mac to Windows. Now you'll need one command. The command link will be given in the description. Just copy the command from there. Now click on start, search for CMD, run as administrator, click on yes, just right click on here, now hit on the enter key. Now it's done, close it, and now restore your PC again and see the magic. Now you can see the dual screen is here, if you find any error, any problem, you can let me know in the comment section below.